Hello everyone again. I wanted to finish filming what I had made, but I want to show you all this real pretty uh, setting I have here that is a uh, little basket full of goodies for for uh, fall. And uh, isn't that a beautiful pumpkin back there? Virginia made it. Anyway, so I was real happy over that. I don't know what I did here. I hit something on my camera, so I thought it kind of messed it up. All right, I wanted y'all to see that, too. Isn't that beautiful? She said she made that, so I'm trying to think what her YouTube, y'all all know her. She's very popular with her um, dolly books and all her beautiful, beautiful laces and things. God, sorry, Virginia, I can't think of your name, your YouTube name right at the moment. Anyway, here's this uh, other wall hanger I made. And if you noticed, it probably got a little sparkle in there because I was making these up to go in a fabric book. And uh, I never could get with it because I made a mistake and it just would never come together and I completed a part that had some other pieces but these pieces got left over so I decided to make uh, a wall hanger and this one is on, backed on a canvas and uh, I thought uh, I'd just attach all of it to a canvas it's uh, now I haven't put the hanger on this yet because I have an idea of what I want to do and I just haven't made it, but I have it sitting up on a easel, so it looks really pretty on there. Never know, I might leave it on there <laughs> instead of being a wall hanger and just be a a, a shelf a self sitter or something. But look at that! Uh, how I made that flower there, and uh, that was a little snippet I made. I think I showed it once before. And this trim down here is a comes off of an old lace curtain or something that's been cut up and. I'm not sure if I did that or somebody gave it to me. I do some of that sometime. And I thought that turned out so pretty hanging there. And those are some antique pieces of uh, doilies that I cut up. Uh, and I added the little flat back pearls. And the lace uh, trim there around the outside of that, this right here, is... Uh, off of an old dress a long time ago that I saved and I was going to use the little pieces and then I decided to use it in that book and so it was still laying there and I thought well I'll just use it with this and I added the flat back pearl, pearls and more of the little pieces of doilies and then some trim and some other pearls around it but I just love how it turned out so I'm real happy over that and then I made a couple of little bottles. This has nothing to do with the wall hangers. And uh, the little bottles are uh, so cute. I haven't finished them yet. I want to add a little flower to them or something, a little tag or something to them. But I thought they turned out so cute. Just little snippets out of my snippet basket or box or big box or whatever. I have a lot of little pieces of lace. Anyway, I save them like everybody else. And so, I will show y'all the other wall hangers that I showed in the other video. But these are just so pretty. And I love how the dangle, I doubled that up at the bottom. Isn't it pretty? And you know, Alice gave me the crocheted flowers. And they just fit so pretty. Not sure if that's getting the right color or not. There we go. Maybe, yeah, now it's better. Anyway, isn't that, it's got all pinkish, and I'll probably hang that in my back bedroom. I think I told you that with uh, uh, where my, oh, it's got a lot of pink, and where I hung the other things that Alice gave me in that old, that beautiful wedding dress. I need to film that. Y'all would have a fit over that. Look at that beautiful uh, creamer in there. I have a lot of pretty treasures in there that I purchased, like I told you, in different places. And that old sugar bowl at the back back there was something that, uh, it's like one that used to sit on my table as a little girl. I love those. I've got a couple of those. Anyway, this is the other wall hanger. And I 
hung it with a the pearls and this one I had hung with a uh, just a uh, seam binding and I thought it turned out so pretty and I liked how I attached it and I attached it with that uh, uh, E6000 so it won't come loose so and I love that picture isn't that precious oh sharing secrets <laughs> I love that picture. I've had that. I bought that one time probably at a resale shop. And and uh, I was always going to do something with it. And I all of a sudden, one Saturday, it was laying out. Or I found it. And I said, I'm going to add some lace to that and hang it. Because I have thought it was so cute. And this little picture there is sweet. Uh, I've seen that a lot. People use it a lot. I think, I'm not sure where I got that at. But anyway, I have a lot of uh, different things that I've collected. And I made that little flower there and out of little snippets of lace. And I told y'all I got that little bottom part from Olivia. And there's an old uh, crocheted doily in the middle. And then that lace there on the side has a little touch of gold in it. And I've had that lace forever and I tea dyed it. And then uh, I tea dyed those appliques wedding appliques and cut them up and added them in pieces and then there's some other appliques under there and uh, one time, well it's been a long time ago um, I used to be on a lot of these uh, crafting community uh, nings or whatever you want to call it on the web and blogging and such and oh we had so much fun together too and uh, I there was a lady one time that she wanted to sell a bunch of uh, appliques, and so I just happened to see that she had them up for sale, and oh, did I buy a bunch of them, and I still have a lot of them, and I cut them in pieces, and oh, they're so pretty. I have a, uh, a good collection of things, but I am so happy that Olivia gave me that, and I'm so happy that these little pieces of uh, crocheted, and that's not showing very good, that crocheted item that uh, this has got some wedding appliques on it too and I love this lace it's some lace I've had for a good while see the wedding appliques all right let me take you over here and show y'all uh, that's a little board I had made up one time it's nothing special on it just kind of a little primitive I found it one time it went off of an old cabinet door and I added the parts it already had those word that word antiques on it and uh, so I just added little pieces of this and that little old uh, picture of those little kids I've got several of those I bought those over eBay one time a whole bunch of them and up there is the dear sweet thing my mother embroidered for me and it's still in the same frame I probably have had that in that same frame for over 30 something years she crochet I think that's uh, cross stitched she did a lot of uh, different kinds of embroidery and you know cross stitch came into a popularity for a while she used to do the regular embroidery and then they'd start cross stitching anyway this little bear I bought one time at a little antique shop that somebody had made out of a quilt I love things made out of quilts and I thought that was so cute. And it up here at the top, it's got somebody had embroidered the word mother. So it's just a very old quilt. And it's very stuffed. This is very, very stuffed. And look at the little uh, tiny baby. That's a real old uh, bib that's on it. Anyway. These pillows made out of old cutter quilts. I love that sign. This little doll here. I think she is a doll. I love rag dolls. And I, most of mine are still out in the storage room because I don't have the room for them in here. Or I don't make the room. <laughs> I use something else. But this quilt. Oh, there's a story behind it. I always laugh about... Uh, when I look at it, but I love that quilt. I I could I love touching the fabric 
on these old quilts. And this is one of the softest, sweetest quilts. But it this is so special because on eBay one time, this quilt, I was buying some cutter quilts because I wanted to make some of those angels over there. And, of course, I wouldn't cut this one up. But the bid on it was not bad. And uh, so I, there was somebody else, well, several people were bidding against me. And I thought, well, I'll just fix that quilt. I'll add an extra bid on it. But forgot to put the decimal. I put uh, $29 that I would give for it. But I forgot to put the decimal. And all of a sudden I watched that bid and I kept, my bid kept going up and up and up. And I went, oh my goodness, what happened? I could have canceled it. Believe me. <laughs> it didn't go anything like that. I gave way too much for it. But somebody else wanted it as bad as I did. But I love it. And I, you know, washed it several times and it's getting more tattered. But... I always laugh about that quilt because I've never done that before and I never, I, I would have, I, if I hadn't wanted it, I would have canceled the bid. I think I, the bid ended up quite, uh, oh, I think it was $60 or something I ended up and paid for it. But it's so pretty and it's got different uh, patterns all the way through it. But I love the old feed sack, so that's very touching. And there's a little heart made from a quilt. And this has got this little bear. It's got the cutest little poem on it. And it's something about a quilt, but I can't think how it goes. See that little quilt it's got in his hand? It's, it's, it's dressed in an old piece of uh, linen cloth. That old, looks like an old dresser cloth and got a beautiful pin on it. See it, darling? I love these old little rocking chairs. I have several of them, too. And there's my Kit Kat water bowl. And over here, I'll show y'all, uh, I have this one, this little bear. It's one of my favorite little bears, and it sits on a little cutting piece of quilt, cut-up quilt. I have a lot of that. And then I have that pig propping behind him. Isn't that, darling? Made out of an old quilt. I love the old quilt. And this is a little uh, set tea that goes into my... Uh, den or living room area. Anyway, I'll show this part and then I'll end up and stop these little bird houses. I think they're sweet. My grandson was, a great grandson was over the other day and uh, the cats had got that little zebra out and uh, I stuck it on that table and he kept trying to put it in that bird household and then we got him in there and he started laughing. Isn't that funny? <laughs> He just does some of the cutest things. He's so sweet. But all of my great grandbabies are precious, precious, precious to me. Well, that's how you go into my craft room right there. Just right off of my dining room and living room. And I have that sign, no whining. <laughs> all right, y'all. Y'all stay extra safe in Jesus. And I hope that I wasn't too bumpy with this. And I will be back and see y'all later. And bye-bye.